Hi, I'm Dr. Crystal Weaver. I'm a veterinarian here at Bishop Branch Veterinary Center and Urgent Care. We recommend routine dental care and screening for your pet because dogs are susceptible to the same dental and periodontal diseases that people are. A lot of these conditions are really painful and they can have a toothache for a long time. And they also can lead to more severe consequences such as um, systemic bacterial infection from the bacteria in the mouth spreading to the body. So we recommend a variety of things to keep their teeth clean and healthy. The first is routine brushing. And just like for you and I, brushing their teeth is really beneficial. Okay, so when we're brushing our dog's teeth, the easiest way is to hold their muzzle with your, your hand, both the top and the bottom, and then to slip the toothbrush under the gums and use circular motion. There are a variety of toothpastes out on the market for dogs, and it is important that you use a dog toothpaste. These are um, usually tasty. They have uh, chicken or beef flavored, <clears throat> and they also don't have xylitol. Xylitol is in human toothpaste and it can be toxic for your pet. So again, hold their muzzle, slip the toothbrush under their lips, and brush with circular motions. The second part of taking good care of your pet's teeth is to have an annual exam and have your, your veterinarian take a look at their mouth and their gums, and this way we can identify early problems that may be occurring. And finally, for some pets, we recommend an annual anesthetic cleaning, um, a really deep dental cleaning in which we can really clean the gums and all of the teeth, uh, perform any extractions that may be needed, and um, find any problems that might be going on. Dental cleanings can be frightening, even for people, let alone for pets. The sound of dental tools and odd sensations in their mouth are not something they are used to experiencing. And with our pets, we just have no way of explaining to them why it is necessary or to convince them to overcome their instinctive fears. So for the safety of everyone involved, we do all of the dental cleanings under general anesthesia. When you're bringing your pet for their procedure, you will meet with an admit technician and they will go over paperwork with you and your estimate. And if you have any questions, they will be able to answer them at that time. You will also fill out some forms. The admit technician will explain that once your pet is brought back to the treatment area, the pre-op will begin. Pre-anesthetic blood work will be drawn and run in our in-house laboratory. An IV catheter will be placed and a pre-anesthetic exam will be performed by their doctor. Pre-anesthetic blood work is important to ensure that your pet is healthy enough to undergo anesthesia and that their body will be able to process the anesthetic agents properly. Um, an IV catheter is placed to give them fluids during anesthesia and also in case there's any other medications that need to be given, we can give it through um, the IV and also it can maintain blood pressure if we need to. Once your animal is under anesthesia, the technician will go ahead and remove the plaque and tartar using a hand scaler and an ultrasonic scaler. After that is complete, a technician will also go ahead and polish the pet's teeth using a fluoride paste. The paste smooths and strengthens the tooth. After that is complete, a doctor will come over and examine and evaluate your pet's mouth, making sure there are no teeth that need to be extracted. When your pet's procedure is finished, they will stay with us to, for several hours to recover from anesthesia. The technician or the doctor will call you to let you know that the procedure is finished and that your pet is in recovery. They will also schedule a discharge appointment, which is a set time for you to come in and meet with your discharge technician. When you arrive for your pet's discharge appointment, the receptionist will process your invoice and the discharge technician will meet with you. Together, you will review the instructions from the doctor about aftercare, go over any medications that you have been prescribed, and answer any additional questions you may have. Then your pet will be brought to you. After a dental cleaning, um, your pet will need to be confined and kept quiet for the rest of the day. They are gonna be very tired. You wanna keep them away from pools, decks, and uh, other pets and small children. After your pet has settled in at home for about 30 minutes or so, you can offer small amounts of water. If no vomiting occurs for 30 minutes after that, then small amounts of food may be given. If any vomiting occurs, withhold food until the next day, but leave water available. If your pet has had extractions, you want to feed your pet soft food for the next three to five days to let the gums heal. Also, uh, blood-tinged saliva will also be normal at this time with their extractions. If there's any actual bleeding occurring, you need to bring your pet back in so we can make sure there's not a bigger problem. 